Today's video is the first official video from my visit to the L Word Generation Q set in Los Angeles. I had an absolutely amazing time on set and have plenty more videos to come. In this video, I sit down in a very familiar office for a quick chat with showrunner Marja Lewis Ryan and make sure that you hit subscribe and turn on notifications so that you can be the first to know when I post my onset tour with Marja and all my time spent with Jamie Clayton and some other interesting tidbits. And I hope the trailer will drop very soon. So if you want to be the first to know when it drops, if you want to know what it all means and watch us break it down, make sure that you're subscribed here and following over on social media. Huge thank you to Marja, Monica, Jamie, Legeria, and everyone else I met on set. So let's get into it. So obviously season three is still spoilers. Is there anything in general coming up this season that like you're looking forward to? I know Ari, Rosani, they all use the word to describe the season. If I could describe the season in one word, it would be magical. Chaos, absolute chaos. So is there a word you would use to describe the season? <laughs> A word. I think it's. I don't know. I don't know what the word is. I'm. I think the thing I'm most excited about are all the guest stars. We have so many fun guest stars. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like just having Kaylani on the show is just like a blast. I think the fans are gonna really geek out. There's I'm, a bunch of people that I know in your interview and, you said that was like one of your dream guest stars. Yeah. Yeah. Like so you want cool. the queers that are like making the thing in the world to be on the show. Exactly. And going from like the first and second season, yeah. I know you said the karaoke is like one of the standout mm -hmm. memories for you. Is there any other things that you can point to now and just be like, this is one of the defining roles or defining moments for me? Well, I mean, I think the reason why that one stood out to me is because like it really proved that we could break the mold of the show a little bit and we could have like a little more fun, like a little less serious, a little more fun. So that's sort of what I've been trying to do since I like got really into it. It's like, I feel like we started in a very serious place and we're like headed to a more comedic space. I mean, having Rosie O'Donnell on the show is a blast. Oh, like, yeah. she can really land a joke. <laughs> she's, always, <laughs> she's always pitching, pitching, improvising scenes. And like, I mean, it's just really fun. Just really, it's, it's funny. I mean, yeah. the show is way funnier. She had a great interview on Howard Stern. Yeah. You know, she was <laughs> Amazing, saying. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like, it's just so cool to be able to have her on and have her like in this capacity. And, um, you know, she's an icon and yeah. she like just wants to be here because we're all here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. I have to ask Danny and Gigi and Bet and Tina. They're both coming back. Everything's they're still. The <laughs> Is show. everything gonna be okay? <laughs> well, <laughs> I know you can't answer that probably. Well, but. obviously nothing's gonna be okay. It's the L word. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah I mean, yeah. some things have to end badly, you know. Um, but um, yeah, everyone's coming back. We have you know a bunch of returning people and a bunch of new ones. It's it's been really fun. And then we have like returning return like people that I haven't had on yet, but are from the original series. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to find out the mystery. That's Monica. Right, she's pulling the strings behind the show. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, not writing it, but she's got great ideas. I mean, that that was part of it too. Is like this season, I we like changed out a bunch of writers. I have a new assistant. We were like just trying to like plug into the community more and just be like, what else is out there. Mm -hmm. What do I not know? And like having 25 year old writers on the show m means that they're saying, listen to Kaylani. Yeah. Kaylani tweeted about the show. You know, like, yeah. I don't know that. I don't know what Twitter is. <laughs> I don't do that. But like, that's to stay off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, like, I, my brain just does, isn't wired that way. But like, I want people around me who know what's happening in our community yeah. and like who are out there. And we're all having like very different experiences. And, you know, my staff is coming in t telling me about horoscope parties. And that's so fun. I get to learn stuff, you know? Well, it's great that you're listening to other people too because it's so I feel fun. like so many people even just it TV shows movies whatever they're doing their vision and that's it and it's not I think there's like a time and a place for that but it does feel like the show wants to be ours and not like mine necessarily mm -hmm. it feels like I'm, I'm trying to find other people who are willing to 
sort of lend me their voices and tell me their stories. And I've got like some great returning directors too that like I've had, you know, my director Shadow from season yes, one directed yeah. season two. She directed the Carrie episode. Yeah, yeah. She came back and did the first two episodes this season and it's just so special, you know? It's like, it's really her show. Like I can see her vision on the screen so clearly. I know what she looks like as a director. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's just really cool. And then I got to break a brand new non-binary director who just came out of oh, Yale's yeah. directing program. And they've got like an incredible resume on the theater side and have never done this in, in television and they got to do four episodes this year and awesome. they're awesome and they nailed it and it's so fun and it's a big play yeah, you know like yeah. they, they really took their skill set and put it like in front of us and it's just fun to be able to raise up our voices and like especially when yeah, people are exactly. so good and they are What episode in season three are you looking forward to the it's most? It's always six. Mm -hmm. Always six. This is, this is what I've been saying. I can't, it's always it's so six. weird. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. Something happens for me in six. I like finally find it. Every year I'm like, we're You here. always got it. You always got six. it. Six. Oh, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was our time. That was awesome. Thank you so much for watching. And as I said at the beginning of the video, there is plenty more to come with my onset tours with Marja and Jamie Clayton and also some other videos along with the trailer which i hope will drop very soon so make sure you're following me here and over on social media and as always make sure to stay safe take care of yourselves and i'll see you in the next one bye guys I'll be in your very meta very very meta <laughs>